Hi, my name is Jeff and I'm a third year medical student. Today I just really want to share with you some information about fish oil, which I know you might think it sounds kind of silly, uh, fish oil, but I think this is going to be something that you will find to be really helpful to you. And because what I did was this entire year I've been in a pediatric surgery lab learning about fish oil and I've been reading about the applications of fish oil for things other than for kids. And one of the things that surprised me was how amazing it was for prevention of coronary heart disease and heart attacks. And what kind of inspired me or what um, pushed me to do this video now is because Tim Russer, a widely admired journalist, moderator of Meet the Press, he passed away recently from sudden cardiac death and fish oil actually has been shown to reduce the risk of sudden cardiac death by 45%. Um, which I know these, I know it's kind of random that why am I jumping from Mr. Russert's uh, situation to fish oil and part of it is because his doctor on the morning news networks asked us, said that he hoped some good could come out of this tragedy, that more people could be talking about this, um, and learning about prevention strategies and things like that. So that's what inspired this video and my thoughts and prayers go out to Tim Russert's family. Um, I greatly respect his work and I know that some of you or a lot of you may have been fans of Beat the Press as well and so hopefully um, this information that I share with you is something that you can share with your family on Father's Day today and also with people that you care about who have coronary heart disease and who may be at risk for sudden cardiac death. Sudden cardiac death is actually one half of all causes of death from coronary heart disease. So 300,000 people every year in America get sudden cardiac death or end up having sudden cardiac death and 800 people per day end up having sudden cardiac death. So what is sudden cardiac death? And I wasn't quite sure actually what exactly it was because, but it is what it sounds like. It is when you pass away, when you die suddenly from a heart attack. It's unexpected. And so for example, in Mr. Rusford's case, he actually had a stress test for his heart two months ago. Stress test is just to see how well your heart is, how in shape it is. And his, he passed his stress test with flying colors, I believe with uh, everything seemed fine. He also had his cholesterol controlled, everything was normal, um, at least from what I could tell from the interviews with this doctor. And so it really came on as a shock to everybody. Um, one of the things that's important and I think is underplayed in either the media or just, I haven't heard talked about often, in routine discussions of treatment and prevention is the fact that fish oil has been shown to reduce the risk of sudden cardiac death. And there's different studies talking about this, but the one that's in my mind is 1999, 3,000 people got fish oil, 3,000 people just got a regular control tablet. And the people who did get the fish oil, one of the secondary endpoints showed a 45% reduction in um, sudden cardiac death. Now, to be completely objective, secondary endpoints aren't as strong as primary endpoints. And you want to learn more about what the difference is, I'll post up the link. But secondary endpoints are still meaningful. And, and if you want to look at the strongest endpoint, which is the primary endpoint, fish oil did lower risk of cardiac mortality and overall death by 15%, which in and of itself is a very dramatic number. And in fact, in 2004, when I was just reading about this, in 2005 actually, in JAMA Archives of Internal Medicine, which is a highly ranked uh, journal, and there, were, there was this systematic review comparing fish oil with statins, which statins are Lipitor, Crestor, um, they're Zocor, they're cholesterol lowering agents. And, you know, they get tons of billions of dollars in sales every year. That stands are part of the routine treatment strategy. And but stands actually only reduced overall risk of death 
by 13%, whereas fish oil reduced the risk of death by 23% overall. And in terms of death from cardiovascular events, they found that fish oil reduced it by 33%. So you may be asking yourself, well, if this is such an amazing finding, why haven't I heard about this? There, there may be something wrong with the systematic review. And that's actually a really legitimate concern because a lot of meta-analyses aren't very well done. And so I specifically wanted to see if there were any letters to the editor attacking this review article. Because oftentimes when a study is poorly done, especially when it's published in a widely read journal, such as Archives of Internal Medicine, you'll get a lot of, uh, you'll get a lot of letters to the editor criticizing the article and then the authors have to respond to those criticisms, critiques, and attacks. And in this case, there were no letters to the editor to the Archives of Internal Medicine in response to this review that showed fish oil was better than statins. So at least from that preliminary, preliminary review, it seems as if this article is legit, and it seems as if fish oil is better than statins when you um, compare them head to head. So, but I will post up the article. If you find anything new, please write that in the comments section, and um, I will post I'll post up updates in the video description as I find new information. So, the thing is, um, in talking to a lot of my classmates and a lot of my doctors, I don't think this is something that is in is in common consideration, and that's why I particularly wanted to make this video. Um, it's not because, I mean, I do, en I do enjoy reading about nutrition, but I actually, the reason why I want to do these videos um, is, if you look way back, is because I want to share with it, you things that don't make it out into the public often enough. So, I hope you can share this article with your family, friends, and with your doctor the next time you visit him or her and ask them, um, you know, especially if you're taking a statin, and especially if you have heart disease, whether or not you should be considering um, fish oil as well, given the strength of the evidence. I'll also post up another JAMA review article that strongly suggests, uh, again, seems to be really well done and also points out that fish oil is really good for heart disease prevention and also um, for heart attack prevention. So. In part two of this video, I want to talk about practical tips about fish, fish, uh, fish oil, how much to take, what the American Heart Association recommends, things like that, and hopefully that that will be of more practical use to you. But for this video, I want to say that my, again, my thoughts and prayers go out to Mr. Rutzer's family, and hopefully um, we can all take this time to to think about ways of um, helping our families if they have coronary heart disease and um, help prevent sudden cardiac death. So thank you for listening.